Now we're going to look at the scrape period and how your four farms play into this system. So now the scrape period is but roughly October 15th through November 5th. Okay, now here's what's going to happen. The buck now is going to travel like this line shows. So he's bedding by now. If they pick the corn, he's up on the oak ridge. He's going to travel by the doe bedding areas, leave scrapes along the field edges, go through this doe unit. He's going to cross the road right here by this ditch because it gives him cover. And he's going to come over to farm C and make check the does out and put rubs and scrapes all along it and hit farm D and like that. Now, during this time, you can kill this buck on farm a b and c but the time he gets to d it would be too dark okay so i would not hunt farm d at this time now as long as you didn't leave too much scent on farm c that buck would cross this old dirt road after he marks everything he'd use the ditch now a lot of people say well how do you know you don't go this way well guys he's going to connect the doe units the closer the doe units are he's going to follow so a lot of people don't understand how a buck is moving from his bedding area and how he's coming in all it takes me is a trip through the woods and i can explain how he's most likely going to do it so the buck would be going this way around the system it would not be this way because he's going way too far before he gets to a doe unit he's going to connect the habitats closest Okay, now let's look at what's going on during the scrape period. The buck is more interested in scraping than feeding. Guys, you got to understand, now the buck is going to start losing weight. Okay? He basically now is worrying about making scrapes and rubs. He's on a different pattern. Before, he was in a short pattern, eating, and barely having just an easy time. Now, he's trying to go to all his routes and leave calling cards to all the girls and the other bucks to let him know he's in the area. So now the buck is usually in his moderate bedding area. So the cornfield probably got picked by now, and now he's living up on the Oak Ridge. His pattern is using scrape lines, guys. At this time, you got to understand, that's what the buck's mind pattern is. So if you're in a stand, you're going to want to be around scrapes. There's a lot of guys that are hunting this time of period, and they're not in by a scrape. you got to understand, this is what the buck is doing every day, is making scrapes. So you need to make sure you understand how he's doing it. Now, at this time, you can have breeding rubs. These are rubs that are just tore up because he knows the rut's going to be kicking on in about 10 days or so, and so he's really tearing things up and these are nice to find when they're the size of your legs and shredded you got a big buck now guys in front of me i don't know if you can see all the things but we have sheds i picked up 44 sheds this year on my little property now guys it's amazing that my little whitetail habitat research center 52 acres with 23 acres of woods picked up 44 sheds because i control bucks that's another whole story in itself but this is all stuff people need to know to have successful hunting the beginning point is when he's more interested in scraping than than food. It's simple as that, guys. One day he's out like does eating, and the next day he's scraping and moving and making rubs. Now, a three-and-a-half-old buck spends 70% of his life on his belly. He's more like an old male dog. And out of the 70% area that he's on his belly, out of the 30% that's left, 20% is in his core area. That's why I mentioned the sheds. I'm in their 90% zone. Most people are hunting a buck in his 10% zone. It makes it hard. Social structure. You need to understand the does, how the habitat, the pecking order. All this makes a difference on how you hunt this buck. One of the best times to scrape line hunt or rub line hunt is 10 days prior to the rut. Okay, this is the time to move. And in my opinion, the scrape period is the best time to kill a big buck. From about the October 25th to before the rut kicks in in the first part of November, to me is the best time to hunt because the buck is doing something that I can pattern. During the rut, he has no pattern, which I will explain. You want to be hunting near staging areas during the scrape period because this is a place he's going to put a lot of scrapes and rubs because all the girls go there before they venture out. That's where they come in in the morning before they go back to the bedding area. He likes to leave calling cards to the girls and tell all the bucks, hey, I'm the guy in the area. So now, during the scrape period, you know that you want to want to be hunting by scrapes. You're going to want to be hunting around a staging area. These are the best locations for hunting a big trophy buck at this time.